Hey everybody, it's Margaret, and today I am bringing you a haul video. This is very much, uh, <laughs> I've been putting it off. I've got a lot of stuff to share. So it is uh, in a long time in the making. So let me jump right into it. I hope you all are well on this November 9th day. Um, yeah, so these are things that I've picked up uh, in the last mm, couple weeks at uh, garage sales or let's see where else, like Goodwill, thrift stores and things like that, that I am planning on selling on eBay, Etsy and Amazon FBA. So my purpose for sharing these things is to show you what kinds of things I pick up. Sometimes they are things that I research in while I'm there and find out what I'm gonna make or if it's a good deal. Sometimes I just go by my gut and take a chance and sometimes you win and sometimes you have duds and that happens. So I've got a bit of, a bit of little both, <laughs> a little bit of both here. So let me jump in and share with you some of the things I got. Hey, going on Grumpy and hello Jason T. Smith in the chat. How's it going? So glad to see ya. <laughs> All right, so first up, I picked up this at a garage sale and this is Francoma pottery. It's got a very dis uh, distinctive look. So it's usually got this kind of mottled look. Sometimes they're brown or sometimes they're green. They look, but they're just, that's, when you see it, you know it. Like, this is Francoma. So this, there's the marking, Francoma. Oops, that's upside down. Francoma pottery. And they don't go for a ton, ton, but you know, for a dollar, I paid a dollar at a garage sale for Francoma. Uh, I think I'm gonna do okay. So let me share with you what I found and what I think I'm going to sell it for. Here we go, let me get my window up. So here we have, I have my windows a little backwards, so let me start on, here we go, where's my research starting? Did my research, and as you can see, that there's some of them come in browns. I didn't know that it was called, what's it called? Lazy Bones or something like that. I thought that was pretty funny. So yeah, Lazy Bones dish, I guess because of the way it's laid out. Um, so let me click out of some of my, this is on eBay. These are not sold. These are, these are still for sale. I didn't see any of the green, uh, Lazy Bone Prairie Green is what they call it for the souls. Um, and then, yeah, so, but here's what I'm thinking. I also looked on Etsy because I sell, I cross post on eBay and Etsy. And what I'm noticing is that there are none of the green Lazy Bones Prairie Green on here. So that means that even though it may be selling for a little bit less on eBay, I'm going to jack my price up because if somebody's just looking on Etsy, then they will find mine and it will be the only one. And so there, and they will buy it and be happy forever. Ha ha. <laughs> hey, Freckles. Uh, hi from the UK. And hello, Kimberly. And Jason says, unless you find, oh, hang on. Let me get out of my screen share so you can see me talking to you. Uh, here we go. Stop that. Jason says, if you find the Francoma War God Tiki Mug, that goes for a thousand plus bucks. I'll be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, so I, my grandmother had some Francoma, which is why I recognized it. So she had some mugs, some Francoma, just like regular mugs. Wouldn't it be awesome if she really had like the Tiki Mug and it just put away in storage and I just haven't gotten to it yet? That would be so awesome. <laughs> hey, hey, Julie, Thrifty Paper Garden and Little Baby Bap. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm saying your name wrong. Liddy Babu, hi from India, hello, I'm super excited. And Darren, hello, and Global Gibby, and Ann Randy, hello. Trump or Clinton, what, let's just not po talk politics. What we care about is can we still make money? And the answer is, sure, why not? <laughs> Get to it, are you talking to me? Don't, don't fuss at me. All right, <laughs> I need this today, and I don't need anybody yelling at me. <laughs> All right, so next up, I've got, uh-oh, I hope you're joking because I don't want to have to beat you out. <laughs> Somebody's being rude in the chat. Um, all right, so here we go. I picked up these pewter earrings, and I'm really hoping that it's going to focus for you because if you can see the cat's eyes, those kitty cat's eyeballs are po like popping out like this, and it looks like it's getting, you know, the the exam from the vet or something, because his eyes are just like like that. So anyway, I picked up these little pewter kitty cat getting his exam earrings. <clears throat> Uh-oh, do I need to block somebody real fast? All right, let's see. 
I don't usually block people. That's weird. I mean, whatever. Uh, Anywho, <laughs> why do you want to talk politics? Nobody wants that today. We're done with that today. Okay, it's done. All right, here we go. <laughs> so these kitty cats getting exams, you know, you just have to pretend. Gosh, I wish, I, I wish it would focus for you so you could see the eyeballs. But um, all right, let <laughs> me move on. I'm moving on. You know, uh -oh, is there something else going on now? Okay, let's talk tiny cats. Okay, good gosh. <laughs> I'm going to share now. I'm going to screen share. And just, yeah, run away, run away. <laughs> I could not find any just like these. They are marked Korea on the back. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to put them probably at the $14.99 mark. I mean, these ones are sold. So there's some that sold. These are like the little dangly ones. Some sold for $7.99. I'll put them probably at the $14.99 mark. Look at these ones, though. Oh, but those are a certain brand. And just kind of see where they go. Put best offer on them. People like cats. And I'm one of them. So there. All right, kitty cats. All right, let's see what's going on in the chat. Are we back to normal? Everything back to normal over there? Okay. Hey. <laughs> hey, Nevada. How's it going? All right, so those can go over there. Next up, I also picked up, and generally I don't pick up these, you know, type necklaces that have like the gemstone beads and stuff, but I just love tiger's eye. And I'm, a, you know, if you know me, I'm a rock hand. I love picking up rocks and stuff. So I picked these up, paid a dollar for this strand, and uh, now I'm kind of wishing, they, they had some blue ones, but I couldn't, I don't know what the, it wasn't lapis, it was something else. Where's my screen share? Here we go. These ones actually were doing a little better than I expected. This is on Etsy. <coughs> Pardon me. So here's a strand similar to mine. Someone is selling for 21 bucks. Here's another one, someone selling for about 10. So, and again here, 22. So I'll probably put mine in that 1999 range. And there was a keyword in there that that I was going to remember. Chip, that's what it was. Cuz I was saying, you know, they look like little tumbled rocks. So I did like tumbled minerals or whatever gemstones, but chip is another word that I have to remember as a keyword. So here, stop that. I can't see what's going on. Cat theme day for Margaret. I know, and my cats are out. So we may I may be able to grab one to show you. <laughs> the kitties are loose again. All righty. So next up is another necklace that I picked up. And this brand doesn't do, I mean, it does okay. It just kind of depends on what it looks like. The brand is called Leah Sophia. I think I'm saying that right. Leah Sophia. I don't know if you can see that. You'll see the tag when I share, screen share. Nevada says, lots of jewelry makers will cover your tiger's eye chips on Etsy. Oh, awesome. So good. This is the necklace. And now what I need to do is I, I run a group called Jewelry Lovers and Sellers. And I'm going to go over there and say, what is this called? What is this style called? Where it's like got, it's like a Y. Maybe it's called a Y style. <laughs> Not like wild style. But it's got this Y with these dangles. Because I think if I know how to describe it correctly, it will get more buyers looking at it. So this is the necklace. I paid, I bought this at the Goodwill for $2.99. There's a good one near me that actually has pretty cool jewelry sometimes. So, and then the jewelry jars suck. Sorry, I'm saying suck, but they suck. And there were three of them there the other day, and I didn't buy one of them. And one of them was on sale. It was that bad. So let's take a look at Leah Sophia. I couldn't find the same exact one again because I can't. I don't know what the name of that Y. Maybe it's Y. I don't know. But you can see these are sold on eBay, and they kind of go like here's one for $4.99. But then there were some others. Oh, this is still the tiger's eye. Come on now. Get with the program, Margaret. Here we go. So look at this. This is the same necklace. Not that I have, but th these ones. One person, they, I guess they did an auction, sold for $5.29. The other one, $17.99. Okay. I'm just saying. So the prices are a bit all over the place. So I will probably price mine, you know, in that $14.99. I'll probably do $17.99 with best offer because I like doing that. I like pricing high and putting best offer because frequently people will buy it for the price that you want to get for it. And then it is called a Y necklace. Awesome. That's what Nevada said. No, Crafty Caregiver says, sweet. It's called a Y necklace. I knew that. I knew it. <laughs> okay. Hello. Happy Rabbit Trails Treasures. Hello from Canada. 
Oh, do you have three? I have, yeah, ours are, we have four rescue cats. We do. Well, two are not exactly rescue. I just got them. All right, so not cat related. We have this dog. Now, this one I picked up at a garage sale, and I didn't, there's no markings on it, but I just thought he was really cute. <laughs> and I know they're, you know, the dog people. So this <clears throat> is a pin, Doberman Pinscher, obviously, but I'll probably put Mini Pin in there too because he does kind of look like a Mini Pin. He is Mini Pin. So I paid $2 for him. I could not find him exactly. Get over there. Get over there. I couldn't find that same, same exact one. Let me show you what I did find, if I can screen share for you. Okay, here we go. So here are some, this is on Etsy. My, my research is kind of going backwards. Oh boy, look, I just love this picture though. Look at that, isn't that so cute? Off topic, of course. All right, I can't remember why I have this page pulled up, so let's move forward. So here are some, I'm looking on Google, I searched it, I clicked on shopping. This is the same style. It's kind of that matte. It doesn't have that glossy glow to it. And someone is selling this for $19.99. I couldn't find my same dog, but I found some that looked like they were made probably by the same people. So I'm thinking I'm going to put it up for that same $19.99 mark. <laughs> Julie says it might be a rough sale. <laughs> That's funny. Um, hello, latest Grace. Hi, everybody. If I missed you in the in the chat, I apologize. Hello, hello, Tariq got Johnson, and I'm sure I missed some other people. Hey, Barbara, how's it going? Oh, let's see. Okay, okay. So next up is this. Where did they go? Okay, now it might end up being a dud, but that's okay. I have boys; they'll like it. It's this little dragon hanging out on a skull, and I paid a dollar for it at my local charity shop, and it's it's really not going for that much. I found. A set that I couldn't find him by himself, but I found him with some other buddies, <laughs> some other dragon buddies. Here, here he is in this set. So the, there are four of them, and he's resin. He's like a resin. Um, and he, this set sold for twenty three fifty. So, but I'm thinking I wouldn't want to put him up at anything less than ten bucks, really. You know, because I paid a buck for him. So I don't want to put at least, you know, $9.99, $11.99 on him. Let's see. All three of Kimberly says, all three of my grown children would love the dragon and skull. And Jason says, that's badass, much better than little kitty cats. Whatever. You're just not, probably not jealous, but you know what I'm, whatever. It's cool. Some people like a big, bit of kitty cat, if you know what I mean. <laughs> all right, so these ones are not for sale. Because I, again, like I say, I love rocks and minerals. So these bits I picked up at a, a garage sale again. I think I paid a buck for, for all of them. So, yeah, I just collect them. I have them, and I don't know, and they make me happy. I just think it's so cool. Like, this grows. This happened in, in the earth. It just happened, right? Awesome. So <laughs> that's that, those little bit. And I don't know what these cross sections are called. There's a name for them, but I can't think of it. And these, this one looks like it was busted out of a geode or something like that. So those ones get to go sit over there for now. And then the dragon, like I said, probably in the $10 range. And then these ones I picked up for a quarter. These are Downton Abbey circle gift tags. And they have quotes. Latest Grace says agate. <laughs> uh, I'll have to look at the chat in a second. Uh, it says, what in the wonderland do you call that? A little vote, a quote. So what is a weekend? If you're a Downton Abbey person, these are really cute. I don't know if I should read what they're saying. <laughs> Jason, I don't even know what that means, what turtle trade you're saying. Okay, okay, I can't pay attention to that, sorry. So these ones, I did not, I found some on eBay that looks like they were relisted for a lower price, but here's what I'm thinking. So it looks like this was ended at eight bucks and then they relisted it here for $6.95. <clears throat> but what I'm thinking is of putting them on Etsy as well because they could be used um, in, in a scrapbook. So I'm thinking of listing them as a supply. They're originally sold for $4, but I am going to list them for more. 
my question to myself is, my Downton Abbey isn't selling, Julie says. Yeah. Do I take them out and see what the other quotes are or leave them all in there? I don't know. I don't know. So we'll see. I mean, it's small. It's a little thing. I paid a quarter. So, you know, it's worth a try. <laughs> okay. I'm looking in the chat. Okay, I'm trying to ignore now. Next I have, what have I pulled up? Oh, okay. I don't normally sell many clothes or bras, but I bought a bra. Here's the bra that I bought at a garage sale. The reason that I bought it, for one, is that it's in like new condition. It's really, I mean, the, it's really clean. It looks like if it was worn maybe once or twice. But then, it's a really good brand that I think is a good brand. It's Kashyyyk, which is the brand um, that's tied to Lane Bryant. And then <laughs> it was 75 cents. And I took it to her and I was like, is that right, 75 cents? And she says, yes, 75 cents. So I don't think it fits me, but <laughs> I can smell, it smells like perfume. So let me show you what I found about this bra, this brassiere. Ooh, the see, you got a little peek. This is why I have the screen up. I have a mess going on over there. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> And the screen share. Let's see. Cindy says that's a freaking helmet. <laughs> it is. Maybe I'll keep it for the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> I'm trying to screen share. It's not going. There we go. Okay, so here we go. This is this is it. It looks like the same exact bra here. They did it on auction, and 1050 is what they got. So I don't know about that. I mean, I'll probably, because I don't really do auctions. <coughs> Pardon me. So I'm thinking I am going to probably put it up at that. Oh, look, here's a new one someone's selling for $15.99. Hmm. I'll probably put it at that $14.99 mark with best offer. That's probably what I'll do. <laughs> Bobby Billington says big, big earmuffs. <laughs> what size? The size is, oh, good question. I didn't, I didn't say what it was. It's a big size. Uh, 42 triple D, 42 triple D, not my size. <laughs> Kimberly says they want it over $9 at my local garage sale. <laughs> Turtle says sold. You want it? PM me later and, and we'll, we'll make it, uh, we'll make it happen. And Julie says auctions have been lucrative for me lately. You know what I did though? Cause some of my friends <clears throat> had tried auctions and they were doing okay. So what I did was. Some of the things that had watchers, this was a few weeks back, I thought, you know what, let me, let me put them on auction just to see what happens. You know, some of my friends are doing it, let me jump on the bat again. So I put them on auction, and, but I didn't do like 99 cent auctions. I, I put them the lowest price I was willing to take, and to, just to see, like maybe it'll sell. So two of the things sold, and I think I put about 10 things on auction just as an experiment um, that had watchers. So. Maybe it's something I look into trying again. We'll see. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, what's next? Here we go. Okay, so this is a vintage electronic, which I thought was going to do better than it is, but so it came in this little case. The guy only charged me a buck for it. He thought it was a radio. So realistic is what it said. And, you know, it's got the antenna and all that, but it's not, um, it's not a radio. It is, let me see if I'm opening it up right. It's called a pocket vision, realistic pocket vision something. And it gets like UHF channels. There's a guy on YouTube, there we go, that has a video of it working. He has it set up and it's working. So something happens, somewhere the magic happens, and it reflects down here on the, the screen. I don't even know. Anyway, <laughs> there's, I, I don't even know. But it's not going for as much as I thought it was. So let me share with you what I found out. Plus, there's a little bit of corrosion in the battery um, where the batteries are. So I need to pull those batteries out. Now look at this one. So this one is, is not sold. Am I screen sharing? I hope so. And this one is saying 70, 77 bucks, you know, our best offer. But as far as solds go, there was one that went for $249 which I don't understand why, because, yeah, you're paying all the fees. $21.95, but it's got the box and everything, so I don't know. Um, 
not exactly sure what I'm going to do, you know, with that because it's not something I can show working. I don't think, especially with that corrosion. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, so I may just do like an as is 15 bucks. Maybe. I mean, some of my items I paid a buck for, and then it's like 15 bucks. I guess it's still okay. You know, the, some of my items lately that I've been selling have been making a really good profit. You know, the margin has been really good. So now when I'm like five or 10 bucks, which normally made me really happy, and I'm like, man, I just saw that brooch yesterday and it made me like a $30 profit, you know? I don't know. So maybe something to think about for me. <laughs> All right, another garage sale. I picked up three sets of coasters because they can do okay. So these are Port Marion. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. But I've sold some porcelain by this company. And these coasters, you know, have little birds and blooms on them. These two are the same. And let me show you what they are going for. What was that? Okay, Mimi's talking in her sleep. <laughs> that was kind of cute, actually. So here we go. So these are these ones are made by Pimpernel, though. Port, Port Marion Botanic Gardens. But this is the same pattern as mine, the Botanic Gardens. These are sold. <clears throat> so it looks like, you know, $12.99, $11.99, $18 for those. <clears throat> and then here, got some more. These are not sold. These are just in part of my research. So same deal. So I'll probably put them up at that, you know, stop screen share. You know, at the $16.99 mark because I paid two bucks for them each. Let's see. Barbara says she has a bunch of toys on auction that will end tonight. I expect a bidding war with several. Awesome. I'll have to find out from you later if that if if they if they went well because I need some stuff to move, right? And Lorraine Waterman asked, I just started watching you last week. Welcome. <laughs> and she said, how did you get into this type of business? It looks like fun and could be lucrative. Totally. Um, I, I started about three years ago. And I used to teach school when I when I started staying home. I would go out to garage sales and just for fun for me. And then I started noticing these are things I could sell, you know, and picking up things at garage sales and started selling them. And it was nice because my big thing was, I, I've always been really independent and, you know, making my own money and things like that. So it was hard. It was an adjustment for me quitting teaching to stay home and not having an income. And so this was nice because I could have, have money that not that my husband made me ask for money, but I, I felt weird. Like, Oh, asking for money. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how it happened. Okay. So, I also picked up two costume patterns. I like to pick them up. I've, I've stopped picking up patterns that are cut because it's just a pain in the backside to count all those pieces. So an uncut pattern, basically, let me just show you. Because I get this question, oh, it tricked me. It is cut. Son of a mother. Okay, so that means it's cut. But normally you'll see them. Like I just peeked in and saw that it was you know, folded up. Normally they're folded. They still have their factory folds and all that. I'm going to have to look at it now. Great. <laughs> so, yeah, they've cut. It's been cut and used, which is fine. I mean, they'll still sell if it's a good pattern, but these ones are not as good as I thought they were when I picked them up. But that's okay. Live and learn. It may go into, like, a, a lot. Not that I don't have the best luck with lots. Anyway, so I got these two. Man. <laughs> Let me share it with you. I do the same thing. It feels weird. Let's see, Julie says, also make sure that the pattern inside is the one that goes with the envelope. I never even thought of that. I just looked to see, usually are they cut? Okay, we're good to go. Oh, <laughs> that's, this is true though. Anything could happen, right? Anything could happen. All's fair in love and sewing, right? So here's the Indian headdress one. Which one did I have? This one. This is on Etsy. So this one's going for 383, which no, no. Is this one cut? Never cut. Okay, so that's just not worth my time. So, and then this is on eBay, uncut, five bucks. These are sold, five, six. I, you know, when I when I pick up patterns, I just generally will go with costumes now, unless it's awesome, super awesome. But again, this is on Etsy. This is for the cheerleader one. I did, this is obviously one of those times when I didn't do my homework in the store. 
and that's that happens. But you know, these I got at the charity shop where they cost a quarter each, so I wasn't really out a whole lot. And let's see, they may end up in the redonate bag just because I don't want to have to lot them up and count all the pieces. <coughs> okay, Julie says zoot suit patterns sell well. I bet they do. I bet they do. All right, that, that reminds me of a friend, a friend of mine. Okay, so the next one is another, um, the other coasters I was telling you I got. These ones, which are kind of cute. I mean, they have this distressed look stone. They were branded, which is why I was like, okay, I'm going to get them. Kathleen Taylor. I looked up Kathleen Taylor, and I found nothing. <laughs> Next to nothing. Let's just put it that way. I didn't find any on eBay, any on Etsy. I found it on a random weird, weird website I'd never heard of, but it won't tell me any prices. And I didn't find those exact ones. I found one of the images on one of the coasters is this dog. But here it's like a wall decor, right? And they sell, this, this company sells, look, licensed artist Kathleen Taylor. It sells um, coasters and stuff, but it doesn't say the price. I think it's like a wholesale place, creative co-op. Because I looked at their coasters and it was like, you can buy five sets of these coasters. So I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to put them at now, but probably 15, 20 bucks in that, in that range. Just because I didn't see any, any of them like that. So that's that. Look, those can scoot over there. What's next? <coughs> I apologize. I keep coughing in your ear. Okay. So next up, I bought a mirror. And you may see this again because I was doing a ride along this day, and I, ha I don't think I've posted this. Hello, it's me. Hello. Um, I haven't posted this ride along yet. So I'm at the garage sale getting this stuff. This is the same room where I got the dog and the Francoma. And then this was there. And the husband was talking to a man over to the side of the table, and the lady's checking me out. And I'm like checking me out, but like checking me out. And she says to the husband, How much for the mirror? But he doesn't hear her. He's answering the guy who he's talking to who holds something up. At the same time, he's saying to the, the husband, How much is this? And the husband tells him, 50 cents. So the wife at the table thinks that he's saying 50 cents. So I got it for 50 cents. <laughs> Long story short. So I got this mirror for 50 cents. I always pick them up when I see them, which is not often. So maybe once before. But if I see them, I will get them. And here is why. I have sold one on Etsy. I'm going to pull up my own so solds that I picked up at a garage sale for a couple bucks. Here is my solds. You can see sold out. This is a swivel. This one is an oval. And I'm going to pull it up. I sold it for $100, you guys. No joke. So here it is. Right? That's it. Sold for 100 bucks on Etsy. So I see, <clears throat> you know, there's lots of research or lots of other ones out there that people are selling for pretty inexpensive. And what I say is, why are you doing that to yourself? You know, if you're willing to wait, somebody is going to look for that specific one and they, you know, they want it and they'll pay for it. So I, you know, I'll probably put it up at that same mark. I'll probably put it up at a hundred bucks because why not? Right. I've done it before. I can do it again. Right. So let's see. Did I have any other ones pulled up? I didn't have any others that were exactly like, I didn't see more exactly, exactly like that mirror. <clears throat> There's something in the air. All right, and then this one, I know I showed this one in a, a video. <laughs> What's the best way to ship a mirror like that? Lots of bubble wrap. <laughs> bubble wrap around that um, mirror part, and then like in a box, you know. I wouldn't FOMO that <laughs> if, if Jason's still there. <laughs> Bobby Rock says, I have a huge brass department store vanity mirror in my, in my bedroom. I love it. Yes, yes, yep, long tail. That's cool. Hello, old haggis hunter. <laughs> okay, is it snowing? Ooh. So these ones I, I showed in a ride-along recently, and I couldn't figure out at the time what they were. And I was like, oh, okay. They're little angel napkin rings. I paid $2 for them. Crafty, Crafty Caregiver says, I use painter's tape across the mirror 
also in case it breaks. Oh, that's a good idea. I didn't think about that. I'll probably do that. I like that. Thank you. So, okay, here, here, let me pull up my research on these. Boy, I've really still got a lot to go. This is going to be a long one, y'all. <laughs> a minute for the long haul. So there, these ones ended up being just all over the place. So here's some very similar right here. These are selling for 12 bucks. But like I said, there, there's a bunch of them out there. I just took a chance because why not? These ones are golden, mine are silver. So here we go, $13.99. So I'll probably put them at the $15 mark. I paid two bucks for them. And my hopes is because there's a lot of them out there that someone will see that I'm a you know, top rated seller and I've got lots of good feedback. So that might make them more inclined to buy them from me. I'm crossing my fingers. All right, next. I'm looking at my what screens I have pulled up because I want to try to go in order. So the next thing I purchased is this, came in this box. And the reason I bought it is because of the brand Reed and Barton. And I just recently picked up something else from Reed and Barton that uh, is going to make some nice money. This is a still new in the bag. It's got the tag and everything. It's a snowman, um, like a hook for your stocking. And it still has the box and everything. And then the box slides into this box. So. All right. Nevada says it's over a 90 degrees Fahrenheit here. A little jealous of your snow. Where are you, Nevada? Because it's, what is it here? Well, it's a little cooler here, finally. So, Reed and Barton, I didn't find the snowman. I found a tree, and it's, I was a bit disappointed. <laughs> Honestly, I was a bit disappointed. The tree sold for $10 on eBay. And then, yeah, that was it. But I, knowing me, I'm not going to put it up for $10. I'll put it up for more. So I'll probably put it up $19.99 with best offer. You know, Southern California. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. Next, I bought, let me see. Let me show you. These ones are also maybe a, not quite a dud, but maybe a little more of a pain in the backside. I bought a bunch of these little bells. They're Disney bells. And they're, his little thing is stuck in there. So it's got all these little Disney characters. They're silver plate bells. And what I'm finding is that some of them are worth more than others. And I've got like 25, 26 of them here. You know, like here's Thumper. There we go. There's Thumper and Bambi. So I paid $20 for all the bells. Let me see if I can show you without making a big mess. There they are. They're all sitting there. But um, like I said, some of them are, this is the, you know, Big Bad Wolf. He's worth a little bit more. But none of them are worth, like, a ton of money. So, I'm like, hmm, okay. I just thought it was worth a try. And let me pull up my screen share and show you what I found out. If nothing else, you'll know if you ever see them, <laughs> right? So, this is on Google. Just I did a Google search and clicked on shopping. This is what I see out there. Somebody's selling nine of them for $240. Wow. Okay, and then some, you know, these are not sold at all. So some are 12, someone's selling for 55. It's just kind of all over the place. But when I look at the solds on eBay, they are not that awesome. Uh, let's click back because I know. Here we go. These are solds. This is eBay. So this is a lot of them for, that went for 1050. Here, Big Bad Wolf, he went for 699. Here's four of them that went for 20. I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. Mine have some serious condition issues. Some of them have got, yeah, have need some cleaning up. Dumbo, $5.99. The Beatrix Potter ones were the ones that, that also went for, for pretty good. I don't have any Beatrix Potter ones. <laughs> but I'm thinking that the ones are, that are going to do well are the ones that are more unusual characters that you don't see a lot, like I have Robin Hood, the fox Robin Hood, you know. So he might do a little better. There are people, like my mom collects Alice in Wonderland. You know, Scrooge, McDuck, he may stay with me because he's my spirit animal. <laughs> Let's see, Lakeside Treasure says maybe a lot of few that aren't worth as much. Yeah, that's my, that may be what I do. And then, like, they've got, some of them have this, like, green mess on them. That's just, you know, I, I think it's, I didn't notice that when I, when I got them, so some of them look really nice. They're shiny and all that good stuff. So we'll see. Let me move those out of the way. Scoot. Scoot, everybody. Ah. All right. 
I mean, I'll make my money back on them, but I thought they, and again, this is one that I did not um, look up. Rag says, so is it better to break them up and sell a set each movie or individually? That's something to think about because <clears throat> like Bambi and Thumper could go together for sure. And then they're the two cows. This is another one I didn't see. What's, it, what's her name? Clarabelle? Cla I think that's her name. Clarabelle. And I don't know what the boy cow name is. So like those two could go together. You know, that might be something to think about. And again, I didn't see these ones. So maybe I'll look them up and they might, they might go better because they're characters you don't see as often, you know. I remember when my, because my mom collects Alice, I, I told you. <coughs> and for a long time there, you couldn't, I mean, Alice stuff was hard to find. It wasn't. You know, Disney Store wasn't making so much Alice stuff. Okay, so the next thing I picked up was some sheets. And this is a queen size set of sheets that look like this. They're fox, they're little foxes, and trees. And I checked them over really well to make sure there were no stains and, you know, gunk on them. So they were in really good shape. I originally thought, okay, well, even if there's a stain on a one, I could sell them because some people might use it for crafts and cut it out. But then when I realized, no, they look really good, um, I went ahead and bought them. I can't remember what Goodwill charged me. like, Because they charged me separate for each sheet, for even the pillowcases. It was all separate. So I don't even know. I can't remember. You know, it's not Nick and Nora. It's got that look though, right? I, and on the tag, it's labeled JCPenney. So they're JCPenney's, they're polyester. So they're really soft. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and let me see what I found out about them. I didn't see, the ones I found, these exact ones, I could not find ex the exact, exact ones. So these are being sold, you know, they're looking at the, you know, $50 range for some of them. So look at that one. Wow. That's a full, well, full queen. I don't know what it is. Anyway, whatever. So see here I found it, but when I click on it, it takes me to another page. It takes me to something different, which really annoys me. <laughs> it's not going to pull up for you. Oh, there it is. So it, it brought up something else. Oh, well, maybe it's one of the options. Aha, it is one of the options. This is out of stock. So $12.99 is what it $30 was the original price. Okay, well, now it's out of stock, so now it's worth 50. <laughs> so says me. So yeah, I'll probably, you know, I'm gonna check them over again real good, make sure that there's no funky stains or tears or anything, and then they'll go probably up for 50 bucks. The next thing I got is handmade, and originally I got it because I like the fabric. But Mimi, get down. Psst, get down. I hang on. She's on the counter. Bad girl. Okay. <clears throat> Originally, I got this for because I, I like the fabric. So this is on one side, and then this is on the other side. And I was trying to figure out what it was at first. I thought, well, maybe it's one of those you put it over the cart so the kid doesn't get germs. And I was like, no, there's no holes. And it's got these two ties here. And so what I think it is is like a roll up, like play mat. You would just roll it up, fold it up, and then you can take it with you for baby to play on, like so. It's, it's a good size, so we'll see. I haven't decided yet. You know, I think I paid a buck or two for this at the Goodwill, but the fabric is really nice. Oh, you're in so much trouble. <laughs> I need a water bottle. I don't have like, a spray bottle. She knows better. She's taunting me. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> she was taking advantage of the situation. I think she knew that I was not, you know, wanting to get up. So Maggie says, do you wash all sheets or only if they have stains? Hmm, I've never really sold sheets before. So this is a new one for me. Normally just with, I have, pick up fabric and I don't wash it, but I don't know. I might wash them. I don't know. I mean, they're used, so... I would think the person buying them is also going to wash them, <laughs> you would hope. Um, eh. So yeah, I, I may. 
Okay. We, you want to see the kitties? I should have grabbed her. <laughs> she was trying to evade me. All right. So at the same trip, I at to the good to the goodwill. I picked up. Here are some placemats I picked up. These are these woven St. Patrick's Day type. And again, I couldn't find these same exact ones. They're not. They're not uh, labeled or anything. <laughs> so let's see what I found. I didn't see a ton on Etsy for St. Patrick's Day placemats. That's it. Look. And so to me, I'm thinking, awesome. That means the market is small there, and I have a better chance of selling mine. So they'll go on Etsy and eBay. And the ones I'm seeing that are here are not selling for that awesome. Some look like they're homemade. From sellers I hope I'm screen sharing oh I am good <laughs> and then this is on eBay <clears throat> these are not sold so this is two of them which they're kind of similar but not exactly two for 1075 sold listings not a whole lot I mean <clears throat> this is looks like a table runner not necessarily placemats and this is four of them for 10, 11 bucks. So, and I've got, I think, six of them there. So, again, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to put on them. I've got quite a few, like I say, six or so. So, maybe I'll put 20 bucks, 25 bucks. They were 50 cents a piece. So, that would be like three bucks for a lot of them. And then these ones, these ones, oh boy, I'm falling and the things are falling. So, these ones do have a label. And they don't look, I mean, they're not my style, so sorry. If they're your style, they're not mine. They're kind of this metallic gold looking, but they are Crate and Barrel. Crate and Barrel brand, and that brand can sell really well. And they are all in really nice condition. They don't look like they've really been used. They look really good. <coughs> and let's see, I couldn't find, even though it tells me the name and everything on the tag, I couldn't find them. So I like that because then mine will be the only ones. So this is where I search Crate and Barrow, Batella, Placemat, Citron, which is what they're called. Couldn't find them at all on there. And then these are some that are up right now. I just put Crate and Barrow, Placemat because mine were not there. So a set of four, someone's selling for $24.99. Let's look at solds. Here's some sold. Six of them that are just this pink color sold for 30 bucks. Two of them that look like twigs sold for 15. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. And here are just some bamboo looking ones that sold. So yeah, keep an eye out for our crate and barrel placemats. I'm not seeing mine. Here's four of them of this kind for 40 bucks that sold. So let's see. And I think I have six of them as well. Two, four, six. Yeah, I have six. So yeah, those I'll probably, what did I say? 25, 30 bucks. Hey, Nick. <laughs> Watching from very cold and wet UK. Yay. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so I also picked up some fabric panels. I'll show them all to you and then I'll show you all the research. They were all lotted together. They were all, these three were clipped all together. And so I just got them all. These ones are the applique ones. They don't do as well. I didn't pay as close attention as I probably should have. So these ones are applique ones where it's not like, the ones I like, you cut the thing out and you just sew it and it makes the thing. But these are ones you have to cut out and then you like iron. It's not an iron on, but you can sew it on or put something on the back just to make it sticky. And anyway. So they're applique ones. So this one has got roses. This one has got butterflies, which I actually think I have this one in it back there. Butterflies and blooms is what that one's called. And then the last one has got like an Indian maiden. It's called Indian lady on it. This one I expect to do better. The Southwest stuff tends to, to sell. It might take a bit to find the right person, but it's got all these cactus and, oh, what are those called? What are they called? I don't know what they're called, but that Native American Southwest looking cross thing. So, okay, let's pull up all of these. <clears throat> Vintage Thrifter says, one of my first eBay sales years ago were discontinued Vera Bradley placemats sold six for 100 plus bucks. That's awesome. 
That's awesome. <laughs> it's not the best feeling too, especially when you buy them for 50 cents a pop. You're like, yes, <laughs> awesome. Come on, screen share. Here we go. So here is the lady, the Indian lady, coyote cactus applique. These are not sold. Let's click on sold. <coughs> $2.95. No, I don't like that. So I, you know, will not be selling mine for that. <laughs> um, so I see them, you know, in this range. So maybe I'll put 15 bucks on them here. Where am I looking at? I don't know where these came from. So that's just that again. This is the blooms and butterflies. Again, not solds. I didn't, I don't think there's any on the solds here. Uh, these are way slower, the applique ones, just saying. So these may end up being a dud for me. But still, I'll probably put them in that, you know, $10 range for that one. That's the same thing. Okay, stop. How's it going in the chat? 53 viewers, hello. Hi, Brad. Hi, Liddy. Oh, I think Liddy was there before. <laughs> I'm just saying hi again. Why not? Okay, so the next I picked up some a big bunch of fabric. I don't know how many yards are there. Quite a few. I think there's three or four yards of this fabric. It's got space stuff. And it is from Cranston. It's This on the selvage tells you. Vin, uh, VIP, Cranston Print Works. Normally it will also tell you what the print is called. This one does not. So I didn't like that. <laughs> and I didn't find it either. But there's a, you know, a good amount of it. There's a good three yards there. So I like it when you can get you know, a good amount of fabric there. So let's pull up. Oh, there's this lily. Yeah. So I'm not screen sharing. I forget. I have to hit share. <laughs> so this is not the same one, but it's um, similar-ish. I couldn't, let me see. I couldn't find the same one, you know, Space Stars VIP Cranston Fabric. So this lady, okay, I'm going to pick on somebody for a minute. <laughs> I, I saw this lady's um, listing, and I was like, oh, wow. Cotton quilt, she's selling it cheap. And then I click on her listing, and it's she's not selling a cotton quilt, no. She's selling a fat quarter. And nowhere in her listing up here does it say this is for a fat quarter because that's a certain, you know, measurement of fabric. So not till you get down into way into her description do you realize that you're buying not, you know, a yard, you're not buying a cotton quilt, you're buying a fat quarter, which is like, what, 8 by 8 or 12 by 12 or something like that, square? So she's selling a square of fabric for 1083. <laughs> it was a bit, there it is, anyway. Uh, it was a bit confusing. Am I still screen sharing? Yes, okay. <clears throat> and then this was also in that ride along. I'm doing great. <laughs> I told you it was a long one. <laughs> I'm not even sure how long I've been on. So this, and I don't buy clothes generally, but I was at the thrift store, and this is at my little charity shop, and hanging as I pass, I see the this Air Force symbol. I didn't know it was Air Force at the time. So, and then I go over to look at it and I see the buttons and I'm like, even if it's worth nothing, those buttons are awesome. There it goes. So it's got these buttons like so. They're big buttons. Um, and so it's a smaller size, 37R. <coughs> um, Air Force wool is really heavy jacket. And let's see, let me show you. I paid, guess how much? $2 for it. I paid two, have I been telling you how much I'm paying for stuff? I hope so. As I go, I think I am. <laughs> two bucks for that. And then this is funny. Okay, so if you watch Scavenger Life, I do my research. And as I'm doing my research, and I remember them talking about it. But this is Jay from Scavenger Life modeling the coat, the same one. <laughs> so I was like, hey, that's pretty funny. So there it is. Different price ranges people have. Oh, I hear a cat going after the couch. Oh, he's going to get it. Um, let's look at solds. So mine is a trench coat. It's very long. Did I put trench coat up here? Let's put trench in there. Trench. I thought I had that pulled up. but So, yeah, here we go. This is a sold $69.99. But the thing is, you're also waiting for the, the right size. $38.99. But still, pretty cool, right? I think. $69.99. Yeah, okay, that's that. I knew I pulled it up with the trench coat. Stop. All right. Hey, Fort Wayne Picker. Hello, Nancy. And 
Vintage Search says, I could see a girl wanting that coat. Yeah, right? And it's a smaller size. I mean, it fits Randy, my husband, who is a very fit dude, you know? But he, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> he may be modeling it for me. But I'll put it on Etsy as well. I didn't look to see if there were any on Etsy. So it, it will go on both sides. So where am I now? Let's take a look. Okay, so we're getting closer. You guys are doing great. This is something I'm keeping for me. I got it at a garage sale. Look, it's a Vespa bag. No, no, it was at the charity shop. I paid a dollar for it, but I like it. It's got this scooter. I think it's a Vespa on there. It doesn't say, but anyway, that's that's for me. <laughs> Where did it go? Here's next. So this, the lady gave it to me for free when I bought stuff at the garage sale. It said a quarter, but she gave it to me. So this is a bobblehead from Diary of the Wimpy Kid. And it's not going for a ton. I originally got it because my son is really into Diary of the Wimpy Kid lately. And I thought I had books, but I don't. We check them out from the library and I forgot. I don't have any, so now I have to look for them. So this is a sold one, sold for $9.99. So for free to $9.99, I decided I will sell it. <laughs> he doesn't need more junk. He's, his room is so cluttered. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay. Now I've got to go out of order a little bit. What are you doing? This is also something that I'm not selling, but I'm going to show you just because. <coughs> Hello, Krista. So this is a box I paid $5 for, and it is not the black and white Plasma Storm Pokemon cards, but it is full of Pokemon cards. So these cards, and there's some nice ones in there. There's some, I don't know what's nice really, but there are some hologram ones that are, are holograph where they are shimmery or whatever. There's all different ones in there. So those, my kids are really into Pokemon right now. And look how many cards there are. So what I'm gonna do is go through one evening and separate them out into shiny cards and big numbers and little numbers and whatnot, and then wrap them up and put them under the tree, the Christmas tree. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be a Christmas present. Yes, you gotta start looking early <laughs> for Christmas presents when you're out and about. Okay, then also, this was at the charity shop. <coughs> I got all of this wrapping paper for a dollar. When I took it all up there, it was all that they had. And she said, normally we charge a quarter a piece for it, but how about I just give it to you all for a dollar? And I said, okay. So if you don't know, I, I sell vintage wrapping paper like this frequently. I, I pick it up cheap, and it sells, depending on what the print is, you know, it can sell anywhere from 10 to up, you know, I think 20 bucks is maybe the most I've sold for one for. But they usually go but anywhere between 10 and 17 is, is their general range. So that's what I've got, depending on what it is and if it's a desirable one. I don't know. So there's those. And then, okay, I'm going to have to answer that in a minute. That's Randy. <coughs> So I'm almost done. We're doing great. We're doing great. I don't know how long I've been on, though. <laughs> so I picked up some games. Oh, I should have showed you first. Well, I'll show you in a second. I got this at Goodwill. It's catchphrase. This is on eBay. These are these are sold. Yes, these are sold on eBay. About the $25 range. Well, these ones are less, but okay. But then also on Amazon. This is Amazon. And this is Prime, because I would send it in FBA, so it would be Prime new. I'm, I, I don't know about sending it in as new, because it's got some dings to the plastic. I'll show you in a second. So let's look at collectible. Let's take out new. So collectible, you know, I could still send it in for 25 bucks, 30 bucks, um, or more, because it still is in the packaging. It just, you know, there's a bit of, oh, I'm stopping my screen share. There's a bit of yellowing to the plastic, and then there's like some sticky, icky stuff there. I don't know if I can get it off. We'll see. So, I mean, it's still, it's new. So $2.99 is what I paid for that. And that's good. Let me see. Heather Turner says, how do you ship your wrapping paper? <coughs> Poly mailer with cardboard? That's exactly right. I think I actually did a video about it, too. I did some shipping videos. And I think that I think that's one of the ones that I showed how I ship. But I do. I just in a poly mailer with two pieces of cardboard. Usually tape the sides of it to hold it steady. Pancake, get down. 
Mmm, pancake. He knows. He knows. I've been fussing at him all morning for that. He's on the counter. Let me get that cat. All right, next up, <laughs> I'm going to show you a couple things I don't have research pulled up for on. We're getting there. I picked up a ukulele. This is also something that my son is, one of my sons is getting. No, no. It's not tuned, but it's an ukulele. It still has the box and everything. I got it for a dollar, y'all. A dollar. A dollar. There's pancake. Maybe he'll, he's coming to hear the ukulele. Maybe not. So that's going to be for my son, Michael, for Christmas. He's getting his own ukulele. <laughs> I have a ukulele that I can play very minimally well. <laughs> but it's fun. It's good fun. It's hard to be sad while playing the ukulele. And then this is another thing I picked up. Still sealed. It's a chess game. And... I paid, what did I pay for this one? Oh gosh, I can't remember. It was a buck or, it was at a garage sale. It was a buck or something. A buck, maybe two. So, yeah. And then I couldn't find the same exact one. I looked up the brand. I looked up everything. But generally, chess sets can go okay. We'll see how this one does. My guys have a chess set already. Oh gosh, don't fall. <laughs> Chris says my, that name. Oh my gosh. Yes, my, one of the kittens' name is Pancake. So, do I lot wrapping paper together or sell packs individually? I sell individually. Yeah. And I love it. I love it when they sell. <laughs> All right. Trivial Pursuit game. I picked up new and sealed. I paid. Oh, brother. I think I got it at a garage sale. So, I, I paid a couple bucks for it. Um, it's that. And then, let me screen share for you those games. There we go. So this is on Amazon. <coughs> if I send it into Amazon FBA, these are prime. These are new. And these are the four they have up there. So let's take a look. Let me go back. Return a product. I want to look at the ranking on it to see. Because that'll let us know how frequently it sells. So it's doing pretty well, you know, in games, toys and games. It's under a million. That's good in my book. And so here's a sold on eBay, $34.99. So that's another option if I want to stick it up on eBay. Is there, are there a lot more? Let's find out. See, here's another one that's up right now. But there's not really a lot more up there on eBay. So there's a chance I could pop it up on eBay unless I just want to send it on in. Oh, here is where I was looking up the chess set, but I couldn't find the same one. Oh, no, I have another chess set. This is a different one. <laughs> This is one of those chess sets in a tin, but the pieces tell you how to move. I am, I paid two bucks for it. I am playing with the idea of, of keeping it for, for now because my boys are always asking me, like, how do you, how does this one move again? How many can it go? So that will tell them. They don't have to ask me, <laughs> right? So, but I'm seeing, you know, solds on that one for 15 bucks, but that's new. Mine is not new. Okie dokie. We're getting there. And then this one is a dud, probably, but I had to get it. It's a memory, but it's book lover's memory. So it's got Alice, and then I think it has quote. Yeah, it's got quotes from books and stuff on it. I'm a book lover. So, yeah, I didn't even see. I didn't untape it. I'm going to untape it right now because watch it still be sealed. I'm trying. No, it's not. They're not still sealed. No, they're going to fall out. Let's see, let's see if I can. Come here. Come here. Oh, he ran. I was trying to get him. Um, all right. Is that it? That's it for that. So, okay, that's pretty much it. I picked up some, some artwork at the Goodwill the other day. Um, and I'm going to share just in our group. I, on the, I'll share the Facebook page. So I'm going to show you the artwork that I picked up and what I'm learning so far because I – was learning things, you know. So here I said, tip of the day, when you find a nice oil painting in a thrift store, keep digging. Three large, original, good quality signed oil paintings, two signed and number prints. And then I put the names of the artist, looked them up in the store, found similars on the web, took the plunge for 80 for all. Let's see how I do. So here's what I, let me show you the artwork. And I, and I have learned some things. So this one is ginormous. This is like 36 inches by 24 inches or so. 
of these ducks flying. And this is a painting. <clears throat> Let me see if I can see. Am I sharing? Yeah. Yay, Lisa! <laughs> she finally got a live video. So there's these ducks, and that's the signature on a different one. This one is a signed uh, photograph of this little weasel thing. Ermine is what it ended up being. Same thing, same artist, Mengelson, Bears. Um, <laughs> this is an oil painting I picked up. I'm learning, I'm learning. So if you are in the chat or watching this later going, wait a minute, this is not so awesome. So this is another one, oil painting. Uh, so here is what I found out about these things because I'm, I started writing notes in here. So I'm researching it. And so I said, here's the research I found so far. Uh, the one with the white weasel is called Ermin's Lodge, and the only one I can find is on Worth Point. And then a friend on Worth Point let me know, where did it go? It was like $207 that it sold for. So that one with the little white, where is he? The little white weasel, that one, right there. Um, there's a sold for $207, I think is what it was on Worth Point. So that was good, I thought. And then the bears, let me just pull it up and share with you instead of reading to you. This one with the bears is called Family Lookout by Mangleton. The only place I find it sold, or being sold is on the website of the artist, um, and it starts at $425. So there are none on eBay. There's none anywhere else that I can find. So I can... I will still put it up high. So it's really nice signed. You can see there they're signed and then it's numbered right here. So there's that. Okay, now this one, I, I found a couple by this artist, P. Rambert. But what I'm learning is that some oil paintings are mass produced, like this one here, Burnett. There's like about 10 billion paintings by someone named Burnett. And what I'm learning is that frequently like art students like or Chinese like not sweatshops but Chinese assembly lines they wreck you know knock things things out and they yeah they just are there's a ton of them out there but I still find some sold on eBay for you know 60 100 200 bucks and so I still think I can sell it even though it's like, who is this Burnett mystery person, right? Um, so there's that. Now, that's that one. The duck one, I, I really, I mean, the quality of this one's really good. Maybe I just don't know my art. Benson is the artist, and I don't know. I looked up the artist, and there's an artist called Benson who does a lot of waterfowl pictures, but the, but the signature's not quite right. So just for funsies, I sent the picture and what I know about it to... To Christie's auction house <laughs> just for fun just to see because they they give you the Christie's auction house gives you the opportunity to take pic, you know send pictures of things that you have and it takes four to six weeks and they'll give you an estimate of you know if it's worth them looking at um, and then I also messaged the artist who I was like maybe it's this artist the um, website or whatever and I got a response back almost immediately or within the evening saying, no, that's not his work. Because on their website, it was like, there are lost works by this artist. And if you think you've come across one, email us. So I was like, maybe this is. I'll email them. But no. But because of the subject matter, the size, and everything, I still think that I can sell it for really good money. So those paintings and prints, um, photographs, um, I bought for about $80. And I think, you know, if there's two, and this is the thing. The sign numbered pictures were not the ones I thought were going to go for good money. I thought it was going to be the oil paintings. But it turns out that the signed numbered pictures are the ones that are probably going to go for more. Oh, we got some new people in the chat, and we're almost done. Rag says, uh, when are you and Jason going to have another thrift throwdown? That was so much fun. I think he's going to do one with Nick next. So I don't know. It's up to Jason. He's a busy dude. Um, but it was a lot of fun, that's for sure. And Leslie says, hello, Margaret. Listening to you while I'm walking. Thank you. I'm so glad. And King Flip says, hello, and hello, Henry. All right, so we are pretty much done, all right? So if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button down below, that would really help me out. If you're new here and you like things to do with 
selling on eBay, Etsy, Amazon, or other e-commerce platforms like Merch by Amazon and things like that, hit the subscribe button and be part of the Texas Gal family, right? <laughs> Thanks everybody who came to watch live and thank you everybody who is watching later. If you're wanting to catch me live, I post the link when I'm about to go live on my Facebook page. So follow me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures and also in our group, International League of Thrifters. So come on over and join us. And thank you again, everybody. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.